Good afternoon, Face Punch. This will be my seventh tutorial now. Uh, this one is about the Funk underscore Move Linear, and um, this will outline, or this will be a tutorial on how to make a Funk Move Linear move to I'll do three different floors, and including or not including the ground floor. So you want to go ahead and set up a basic elevator such as this, or the floor sides and stuff. Okay, select all the sides and floor, press Ctrl and T, and tie it to a funk underscore move linear. Okay. Next, you want to go to move distance. I'm going to set this to 200 units. Um, this will be the distance between the ground floor and the next floor, the floor after that, and the floor after that. So basically just the distance between your floors. Uh, speed, I'm going to set this to 50 for a nice slow moving elevator. Uh, block damage. 200, just a crush ship which gets in the way. <coughs> um, for the sounds played when brush starts moving, uh, filter to elevator when you browse and do Eli Lab elevator underscore move. Okay. For the next one, you do Eli Lab underscore elevator stop. Apply that. Uh, give it a name of elevator underscore zero one for instance. And apply that and <clears throat> the move direction you want it to be up. So, also, if you go into any top down side or front view, then you're going to see the origin, which is this little circle here. That is where it's going to be moving from. So you want to set this to there. Okay? So then, 200 units from there. That is going to be your next floor that bit there. So I'm just going to go ahead and create another floor after I've selected a nice little texture. So that is going to be your floor just there. Well, I haven't tried it with floors yet, so hopefully this should work. Okay, and then from that floor you want to just duplicate that up to another 200 units. So that's going to be there. You know, I'll just do it with two floors for the minute. It's a lot easier. Okay, so you have your two floors and your funk underscore move linear. The next thing you're going to need to do is buttons. So I'll just keep that texture for the time being. Come down here, make a brush which is. We need a button texture first. That texture is 32 by 64, so you're going to go, you're going to half them values to 16 by 32, and you're going to half it again to 8 by 16 and that will give you a nice looking little button. So 8 or 16. There we go. I might, might apply that to there and fit it. It actually looks reasonably presentable. Okay, now you're going to click on that and you're going to press Control T after making that thin. I'm going to press Control T and tie that Oh dear. To a funk underscore button. Okay, from there you're going to set the parent to elevator underscore zero one. You're going to go into the flags and tick don't move. And that is it for the time being. Let's make sure. Yeah, and that's it for the time being. Okay. Then you want to duplicate two of those. There, so you have three buttons. Okay, now I think you need to do is go to this one, do outputs, do add, on pressed, elevator underscore zero one, set to position, 
0 with the parameter override of 0 and that will be the ground floor now for this one we do output add on pressed elevator zero one set position with the parameter override of one that will move it to the first floor and then the same for this one on pressed elevator zero one set position parameter override of two and that will send it to the second floor and then you're also going to need one of these buttons actually on the ground floor just to call it back so I'll have that open. Somebody's online, one second. I'm just telling my friend not to ring me, sorry. There we go. Okay, now I'm just going to fancy this up a bit. I was doing a bit of vertex mini oh no, carve oh, no not carving, dear god no, don't carve. Yeah, another point. Never carve. That's bad. Oh, you can do that as you please, it doesn't matter. But, um, yeah, and that's it really for a funk underscore move linear to go to different floors. So, uh, if I just run this map, okay, yeah, it's going to be Fulbright, but um, that doesn't matter. So, I'll see you in game. Okay, so here we are in game with the elevator, three buttons, and the ground floor button. Not for doing anything, sorting the ground floor. Okay, so if you remember correctly, first one's ground floor, second one is floor one. And it should stop there, dead on. Oops. Yeah, I forgot I parented that to the actual elevator. Remember, don't parent that. And it should stop on the second floor. Perfect. Texture's lined and everything. That means now, as well, because you set the damage filter, you should get absolutely crushed. Like that. Oh. Shit in hell. Right, so um, that works. Remember, this button here, don't leave that parent to, to the elevator. And uh, everything will work just fine. I actually quite like this because I've never used Funk underscore move linear before. But I can see now I'm actually going to use it in a lot of my maps which I make. Because it's quite good. Marvellous. Yeah, anyway, um, this was my seventh tutorial. This one was for the funk underscore move linear. And I shall see you in number eight, where I don't know what I'll be doing yet, just to request a video for me. Um, goodbye.